Hi, good morning and welcome to week two. We are uh, this week uh, going to be talking about and extending our discussion of uh, OPAMPs that we had last week, okay? So uh, in the last week, we discussed what uh, we call the ideal OPAMP, isn't it? And the ideal OPAMP had basically three characteristics that we talked about. The first one was that uh, the output of the op-amp only depended on the difference of the signals that are given to the two input terminals. And that difference, we called it as VD, right? And the output is going to be AD times VD. And that would, would be the output, right? So that's what uh, we said. And we also said the assumption that we made was that AD tends to infinity. And that is true for most op-amps that we get. Uh, most real op-amps have a differential gain that is very, very high. Okay. The second assumption that we made was that the currents flowing into the input terminals is very high. Oh, sorry. It's almost zero, right? So I in tends to zero. And lastly, the third assumption that we made was that the op-amp can supply as much current as any output circuit would require. That, that means that the op-amp does not get loaded because of a circuit that comes after it, right? So we said op-amp cannot be loaded or we can write op-amp can supply infinite current. It doesn't always supply infinite current, but if it is required to by the output circuit, it would give an infinite current and that would not be a problem. Now, as you can see, these are all ideal characteristics, right? As um, uh, real op-amps differ from these ideal characteristics. And that is the subject of the first half of what we are going to be learning this week. We are going to be le learning about non-idealities of the op-amp or in other words we could call it the non-ideal op-amp and the way we will do that is we are not really going to analyze non-ideal behavior but we are going to look at the ideal behavior and say okay how does the behavior of the op-amp deviate from the ideal op-amp uh, behavior is that okay so uh, we'll discuss the first non-ideality in the next video